Hey everybody, I'm Meg and you are watching Love and Stamps Maker Mornings with Meg. Today we are <clears throat> clearing our voice a lot, sorry about that. Today we are launching into a really fun chapter and that is the Adoring Hearts stamp set and the um, Adoring Hearts embossing folder, hybrid embossing folder dies. And so if this has been something that you're super curious about um, or confused about, which is kind of what I'm hearing from people, um, here's what we're <clears throat> looking at right here. So we have the stamps, there we go, stamps, dies, and the um, embossing folder. Um, I'm going to kind of clear up all the mysteries about these so that you understand like what you get when with each thing and uh, how you can use them together because today's card uses all the hearts and we are going to brayer, we're going to layer, we're going to emboss. It's going to be wonderful and you're going to be really excited about these and using them in your project projects. So as you guys probably know from watching my videos, usually I don't do a lot of fussy stuff. Um, I like things that are kind of snappy and come together. And today's card looks fussy, but comes together in a great period of short time because it is something that um, you're going to stamp and you're going to die cut and you're going to do a lot of things all at once. And then it would be a great one to make multiples of something. So if you're doing classroom treats or um, Valentine's or just like thank you treats, um, this is a really, really excellent uh, set of supplies and it doesn't take a lot of work to make things look really impressive. People are going to be like, how did you do that? So anyway, um, hope you're excited about it. So with that, we have our adoring hearts and our folder and I'm going to switch our card, uh, camera down to look at our card stock here. So, um, the other thing that I like about this one is we're going to get some great bright colors in here to kind of, uh, chase away some of those winter blahs. So if it is blah-y where you are, which it definitely is here today, rainy and cool, and it's like 33 degrees and raining, everybody's favorite, right? Um, this is going to be a great one to just sort of glam up the things. So uh, we are starting here with a piece of uh, crumb cake cardstock, and this is just a half sheet, and then a four inch by five and a quarter piece of the Adoring Hearts paper. Uh, this paper, actually it's called Most Adored. This paper is one of the celebration selections. Uh, it has these gorgeous gold foil sides and then the reverse sides are all the um, real red and flirty flamingo papers. And any of these papers would be perfect for the card that we're gonna do today. Uh, but I just happened to choose this plaid because I like it. So we're gonna, I know, painfully cover up the gold foil and stick with our side here, but I promise it will work. Now, the other thing we're going to do is we're going to um, do a catalog case, and that means to take an idea from the book, which is going to be this idea right here, and we're going to change it up and do some things a little bit our own, and we're going to, but we're going to use this for inspiration. So looking at this, um, I love that they use crumb cake in the background, but I want to use our brighter colors. And I love that they have a combination of the embossed inked hearts and the die cut hearts and then a heart stamped in the background with a little greeting and then some extras. So we're going to use that as our inspiration. And with that, I'm going to pull out from my adoring hearts, this large heart right here and go ahead and stamp this one kind of up here towards the top right. And then um, while we're at it, we're going to do a little stamping to go on the inside of our card and we're just going to give ourselves a cute little element right there and then because we always want to stamp our envelopes um, i'm going to pull out an envelope here and go ahead and stamp i always like the bottom left hand corner the post office doesn't seem to mind that one to like cover up with that little strip sticker with the little hashes um so now we have our envelope to match okay so back to our card front, um, we are going to now do a bunch of hearts to go with it. So let's look at sort of the anatomy of what you get uh, with the Adoring Hearts. So Adoring Hearts has both the um, hybrid, em the embossing folder in it, and it's called a hybrid embossing folder because it also includes the dies. So this is one item. So when you're looking at the book and you're trying to figure out, or you're looking at the supply list that's linked, um, these two things here, folder and die, are one item, okay? They're right here, number two. Does that make sense? Um, the stamp set is separate, okay? And if you want to get that to go along together, then there is a bundle here. So this is stamps, this is 
um, folder and die, and this is the bundle where you get all of these things together, okay? I know that there, there's some confusion sometimes like, wait, am I ordering the folder? Am I ordering the die? The folder, the die, the folder, the die. <laughs> um, but you're actually ordering both with that, so. Yay, Anna, good to see you. All right, so what can we do with this? Um, first things first, let's get to the fun part, which is to add ink to this folder and brayer it. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you... Um, Kind of two ways to do this in one fell swoop. So like I said, this is a great project because you can um, do a whole lot of pieces at once and then use them for lots of different things. So, all right. I've got my folder. I've got my brayer. I've got my flirty flamingo ink, which I picked because it's going to match our cardstock color. And what we're going to do is open this folder up and where I taught you guys to use the thoughtful moments folder, that was the word one um, when we had our, our last video, um, this word folder right here, I taught you to ink the side with the Stampin' Up! logo on it. We're going to actually ink both sides of this folder, uh, because you get different effects from each one. And then you'll have a set of hearts that you can flip over and decide to use either way. And I'm just going to set this here. Uh, it doesn't stick quite as well when you have card stuck under it. There we go. So now my ink pad is not moving as I am trying to <laughs> prayer, which is much preferred. All right. So um, you'll notice when I ink my brayer, I tap it down, roll it forward, lift it up, tap it down. Okay, so I'm, uh, that's the sort of slow motion of that. I'm only inking it by rolling it forward, okay? And then when you're brayering on here, you can go both directions um, on the folder. It doesn't really matter. But if you're using the ink color, even Flirty Flamingo is dark enough that you can see that ink is getting onto the folder. Okay, now we're not worried about the background, so I'm not going to worry about hitting in between. But I am going to flip this to the other side now and go ahead and pull on here. So when you're doing this, I highly recommend watching the edges of your folder to make sure you get the edges of your images and turning your brayer sort of um, horizontally and vertically so that you get um, a really good amount of coverage. So especially there in the crack. All right. So then you'll be able to see, whoa, <laughs> try not to put your fingers inside it then, um, that yes, we have both sides of this. I'm going to set my brayer down on its cute little feet there so it doesn't hit the table. There you can kind of see how that works. Um, I'm gonna do it up here so it's a little out of our way. And now I'm gonna put a piece of card stock in. Now on the thoughtful moments, that word folder, um, I said to use card stock that was five and three quarters to get all of it, five three quarters by five and three quarters. But this one will work um, with a five and a half inch piece, which is kind of an efficient way to use our card stock. And of course we want to pull in our um, die because hybrid embossing folder means you can use the die and the folder together. It's like the, those old um, Reese's peanut butter cup commercials from like the eighties together at last. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to slide this in here and you want to slide it until it sets in. So it doesn't move now because it's really set in there and I'm going to pop my cardstock on top and I'm going to close Oops, oh well. Um, close my folder, there we go. All right, so now you can see I have this pinched in between here, and let's pop our camera over so that I can go to my die cut machine. You want to use plate number four with this one. Um, yours may be gray, or if you have an older one, it could be um, see-through blue. Not number two, and no um, clear cutting plate. So we've got plate number one, the big one, plate number four, the one for embossing folders, and then our die and stamp, uh, our die and folder in the middle. And I'm going to crank those through. It should be pretty easy to get through there. And then we have the big reveal where you get to see all the goodies that came out of here. So let's go ahead and switch our camera back. And we've got, ta -ta -da, look at this, beautifully inked hearts that are also die cut. So I'm going to pull this out of the way and set it aside. We're coming back to that because we've got more hearts. And then I have our frame, which of course would be a great thing. Like this clearly has to be a frame project. I'm sure that you will be seeing this from me. Um, Adored, Adoring Hearts is the feature that I'm doing on Loven Stamps tutorials for the month of, what month is this? Oh my gosh, the month of January. Um, so one of our other projects is gonna be a frame that makes the most of this. 
and mixing and matching it for just really beautiful um, effects. So, cause you know, a little heart art piece um, as you come into your home is really fun this time of year. All right, so let's look at these hearts. They have this beautiful inked embossed design and you can see um, that there it's a recessed uh, ink design and they're really pretty, but wait, there's more <laughs> because when I flip these over, we have a different design. It's sort of the negative effect. So um, on this, there are a couple, let's see, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. Anyway, they're match sets. So let's look at them next to each other. So I have this one here, and then its match set is this one. You see how that's the opposite design? So you get two different effects when you ink both sides of the folder, which means that you have the chance here to pick which one you want to use. So there's those two versions, okay? And these two versions, oops, sorry, finger focus. These two versions right here. So you're gonna get nine hearts, and if you ink both sides of your folder, they're all gonna be double-sided. If you know that you only wanna use you know, one kind of them, then don't bother to ink both sides, but um, this really gives us some fun uh, choices here. Now, you're like, wait, my folder's all inky, I'm gonna get it everywhere. Um, if you have the new Glass Mat Studio, uh, you have the that little lightweight gray cloth that comes with it, and it is, I have found, the ideal thing to <laughs> just do a quick wipe of ink out of your folders. So, um, you can use the purple chamois too, it just takes a little more work because it's a little bit less flexible. So, Or you can just take it to the sink when I'm all done, sometimes I'll just run it under the faucet, just run water on it until the um, till it comes clear, and then um, you're all set. So now I have found um, that I like to just fold this up into like quarter-ish pieces, and I just keep it in my clear case with my purple chamois. So I don't know if other people have other good solutions for that little mat. Let me know, but this seems to work pretty well for me so far. All right, hello Washington State. You Washington State folks must have your coffee because it is uh, a little earlier there. Hey, all right. So looking at our card, um, we want to, where's my sample? Oh, I left it over there. Um, <clears throat> we want to pull in a couple of hearts to go with this. I think we're going to do, let's see, one of our, um, one of our leafy ones here. Let's see. And I like this one. And then maybe one of our other ones here. So we have, we're building our card here. Now I really like the way they use the cardstock. Um, die cuts in the sample that we're kind of casing. And so we're going to come back to our dies again here, and we're going to use them this time without the hybrid embossing folder. I know, gasp. So let's pull in a piece of cardstock. Again, um, I found that five and a half by five and a half works well. And I'm just going to lay this down on here and pop a couple little pieces of washi tape in to hold it in place. And then, like I said earlier, this is a great set where you can do a lot of pieces all at one time. So I'm going to go ahead and use all of these little heart dies to um, die cut in here. And there are, it doesn't really matter the order you put them in because they're going to cut out the shapes. So we'll just pop them all up here and get those kind of centered. If you want to, you could washi tape them so they stay in place too. It's not such a big deal. And we're gonna go ahead and die cut this. So let's go ahead and pop onto our other camera again. And now this time we're gonna go ahead and put back uh, plate number two because we're doing uh, one of our um, silver dies. And then I'm gonna use two cutting plates and I'll show you this. If your cutting plates look like this, good for you. It means you've been loving them. Um, I use mine just until they crack pretty much. So uh, they last a really long time. So I know sometimes when people get a die cut machine, the first time they start to panic, I get a lot of messages like, ah, the, the dies marked up my plate. Um, that's okay. That's what happens over time. Um, here is like a newer one. So see if you can name uh, what I've been die cutting there. Do you see the the wrench and the hammer and the tools that I've been uh, die cutting lately um, from Trusty Toolbox. But basically, um, your plates start off clear and then they're just going to get, um, get to look pretty well loved over time. So I'm gonna set this on top here. And when I do this, there are a lot of little pieces in here to die cut. So instead of just putting it through one and done, 
Um, I am going to go back and forth a couple times. So I feel it get to the end, and then I go back, and then eh, that's probably okay. You just want to watch um, to make sure that your dies don't move as it goes. So like on this one, I saw that one of my dies moved, so I'm not going to put it back through a third time um, because it's a little bit out of the frame. So, but I think we'll be okay. All right. So let's bring this back over here, try not to drop the dies um, for our big reveal. I'm gonna switch our camera and we have um, these pieces here. So let's take a look at what we got. We've gotten uh, a fun frame, okay? So we have this piece here, um, which has all of our large heart die cutouts. And then we have um, our little mini hearts. So I have some that didn't have an insert, so they're sort of a bigger size. I have some that had these mini inserts, so we have these little frame pieces here. And then I have these really fabulous, um, each one of these created another frame, so there's lots of little frame hearts. These little fabulous uh, mini die cuts. And let's go ahead and pop these on here. Uh, you can pop these out however you like. I have my, where is my tool? Okay, well, someplace I have my brush tool for my take your pick. Oh, there it is. All right, and I'm just going to run these over the top. I really like to do this before I take it out of the die. Um, that way, I think it just supports the fragile little pieces a little bit better. And so then once we have that all set, then we can pop this out. And we have these gorgeous little die cut pieces like this. Let's see. Not a great way to see them. How's that? A little bit better. Look, there's my camera. <laughs> um, so we have all of these fun little hearts. There's a couple different flavors and they um, come out beautifully. So if you find um, that your die isn't cutting, then you would want to go back and just run it through a couple more times. But uh, really, I find that they work beautifully. So, And you're going to get a whole mess of these with all of the dies included in this set. So one of my favorites, right? When things come through in multiples and you have a whole whole collection. So here are my collection of dies um, that we have from our from our dies now. All right, what have we not used yet? <laughs> we haven't used our little banner. So we're going to go ahead and add a banner to our card from that. And there, we have all these extra little um, pieces here. Uh, plus we have this three or four heart um, die background piece. So this one, I love when a card has a negative cutout. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick this here. Um, hey, Corinne. Hey, Mary Ellen. Oh, Joan says her plates were so bad they cracked. Yeah, eventually they do crack. It's, it's kind of exciting. I feel like it's like a it's like a, a, a feat when I get my plates to finally crack. I have used every good, bit of goodness out of them. <laughs> oh, hey, Elaine. All right. So we are going to pop this um, die on here. And we're going to make a negative cutout from our paper. So what that's going to do is it's going to have our background showing through. So last thing um, to die cut here along with our piece. Okay, well, this one I already did through the magic of television. So ta-da, here's our little banner, which is also from this set. And our last die cut. I know I usually show you guys... Um, I usually do all the die cutting through the magic of television, but I kind of thought that this one uh, would be a good one so you could really see how the pieces come together and how the embossing folders work. Um, so uh, I hope you guys are kind of enjoying an extra, an extra little sneak peek at embossing. Um, now for this one, you would definitely want to have the big size stamp and cut emboss machine because the mini um, isn't big enough for the big frame. So, uh, all right. So now we have our hearts. We have these little mini hearts here that we can set aside. Oh, would you like to see what I'm looking at? We have these little mini hearts here that we can set aside for um, another project. And then we have our background with our hearts put into it. So now um, with our folded cardstock, so I have a piece of crumb cake, it's just half a sheet, five and a quarter, or five and a half by eight and a half. And you can see that negative cut out there. Plus it's really easy to line up on the plaid because it uh, gives us its own little alignment lines. So if you're having a hard time with the fact that I'm covering up the gold foil side, rest assured that there will be more chances to use this. And since this paper is one of the free celebration selections, um, you'll have plenty of it to love and use and 
Um, I always feel like it's free license to do what I want with the paper when the paper has been free. All right. So here we have our card base. Let's pull in um, from our uh, Doring Hearts just for you, which makes this set perfect for all kinds of like little treaty kinds of things. I love a great just for you. And plus this one matches um, with our little um, swirl here, banner, swerve, banner piece. <laughs> so we're going to pop this on here just for um, keeping that outlined in the right place. And then we're going to fit our other pieces around it. So back here, we've got our um, heart here. We've got our other heart kind of tuck up here. I'm gonna move this down just a little. And then we wanna bring in a couple of our framed hearts, uh, maybe one there and one down here. And then I think maybe just one of these heart frames here to go up at the top. Um, so we have sort of this collage piece here um, with our heart uh, stamped in the background. Now, Meg, how are you going to attach all those fussy little pieces? <laughs> I am not going to fuss. That is for sure. So let's start off and anchor our greeting. Um, once you've laid out everything and you have it where you think you want it, um, I'm going to go ahead and anchor our greeting here with a strip of dimensionals, and then we're going to start to build everything else around it. All right. So if I pop this heart down here and this one's going to go underneath here, then I can cheat and pop a dimensional right on top here to secure this one. And I think I'm going to bring you guys a little closer. Let's see. Can we get a little closer? There we go. Um, I am going to uh, secure this here with a dimensional so that I don't have to work too hard to attach that. And I'm going to pop this um, I think just over the top there. So we're covered up one of our hearts, but that's okay. Now that means that over this one, I can also put a dimensional. So I'm just gonna kind of peel that back and tuck this underneath. There we go. And then pop that down. So now our next heart is secured. And then this one I think can pop up under here and it's going to secure this um, loopy heart at the top. So let's pop a dimensional on there and then pop this on top to cover that up so there we go okay so we have our hearts collage with nothing fussily glued everything just held on with dimensionals and those are not going anywhere so oh yeah Corinne had a really great suggestion she said um, she likes to keep a plate of uh, a new set of plates so that when she um, is doing something uh, Let's see, she says, oh, for the embossing folders to run through smoother. Oh, interesting, I haven't tried that. But I will say, I always keep a new set of plates on hand because when I'm using gold foil um, or some of those um, specialty papers, I don't want the foil to be marked up by the plate. So um, that's another good reason to keep one in there. Oh, and Joan, I'm glad you like my shirt. It's not Stampin' Up, um, but it is very close and I did wear it specifically for today. <laughs> so, um, all right. And hello in Montana, Mary Ellen. Um, okay, so did I miss any comments? I love um, chatting with you guys, so thank you. All right, so now what's next on this cute card? Um, we need to add some bling to this and we're going to adhere our piece inside. So let's go ahead and adhere inside and I'll just move these here as like a sneak peek of what's coming next. And let's see, we had our stamped elements, so I'm gonna flip this over. Oh my gosh, Stacy, I am with you. This embossing folder is amazing. And so efficient. I love efficient stamping. <laughs> so let's pop this in here. Um, you could stamp, of course, any of these other greetings in here that would um, be perfect. If you're doing just for you, celebrating you is a great one. This could be birthday or anything. Um, gosh, a retirement. It could be whatever. Um, with all my heart, I adore you. And then, of course, um, to my Valentine, if you're doing Valentine's things. So of, this is a time of year when I always say that we can send Valentine's to anyone we want. Um, girlfriends, um, good friends, neighbors. Valentine's is just a time to show that we care about the people around us. So woohoo. Um, I love sharing Valentine treats. All right. So we are adding some bling to the front of this. And these are the iridescent foil gems. They're actually... Um, in the suite, let me find it here, um, with Just Kidding, and they are darling there, but they are probably the most universal of all of the gems and so forth in the book. So here, oops, I'm dropping things. 
Um, here is Just Kidding. Um, it's on page 48 and 49, and it has these sweet little characters. You can color or die cut. Um, you could cut them out of the designer series paper. Sorry, I'm probably moving too quickly. And there are lots of good possibilities for this paper. Um, but this suite is the one that got these fabulous gems. So um, iridescent foil gems are right there and they will go with everything. So don't limit them for certain to um, just that suite. So let's pull in some gems here. Remember to open your packages from the side so that it is easy to um, open and close and, or sorry, put slide those pieces in and out. I always find when I have the strip on the back and I'm opening the package sort of the way most of us would automatically open it, then that strip gets on everything and I can't keep it open and I can't close it and that. Um, so what I do is I just take a pair of snips and slip the side and then it's just really easy to pull pieces in and out. So, all right. So popping these on here, you can use your fingernails or of course you can use your take your pick tool. I am going to go a little crazy with these because I love them. And I'm gonna do sort of a spray of these gems. Um, when I'm doing that, what I like to do is make sure that I am not um, lining anything up on the same vertical or horizontal line. I want the eye to keep traveling, right? We have this nice curve going here. So I'm gonna bring in this nice curve um, to replicate when I add our gems. So I'm gonna kind of go around here and then I'm gonna put one up at the top and I'm gonna pop it kind of between these two lines between these two vertical lines here. So when you put things on the same horizontal or vertical line, it really strengthens that feeling. And even more so when you have a plaid paper, um, but by moving things off of that horizontal or vertical, it makes the eye really rove a little bit more. And so you get um, just a little bit more feeling of motion in your card um, and a little bit more feeling of interest. So keep that in mind. All right, then uh, we have our stamped envelope here that we created. And so this is a really fun way to make a card with this suite and to use all of the fun things in our hybrid embossing folder and in our die. So watch for more tips and tricks with these um, coming up. If you love the most adored um, designer series paper, remember it's the one that has the gold foil on the back and then the flirty flamingo and red on the other side. Um, you can get that with a, one of your celebration selections. So from this mini book, um, for everything that you, every $50 you order, you get an item from here for free. Um, you just want to watch and make sure you're picking the ones that say um, these 50s here. There are some in the back that are with a $100 um, item because they're a little bit more, um, a little bit bigger set. This one has an embossing folder, which is super. I've seen tons of great ideas with this. Um, but so this paper is one of the ones you can get for free. You can also get this paper if you are interested in signing up for um, the Low and Stamps Paper Share. Let me zoom out here. Whoops, in, out, Meg. There we go. Um, Bloom and Stamps Paper Share. So when you get the Paper Share version that includes all the embellishments, um, so you're going to get a half a package of each embellishment, um, then you also get the five celebration selections here too. And they include um, card bases for all. So these are the celebration papers and their... Um, card basis. So here's the, like the most adored, I know that's not in focus set. Um, and then here are the, um, celebration or the non-celebration, the cat mini catalog paper. So it's, um, all of the paper. So there's 48 papers here and 48 card bases. And then the add on is to add a half a package of the embellishments. So each one of the papers has its own embellishment that matches. So you can kind of see, um, how those go together. And there's a link in the video description for this if you want to um, sign up. Like, see, there's our um, Just Kidding suite with our foil gems that I'm so in love with. Uh, Rock and Roll has the fun, um, what are those things called? Lightning bolts. <laughs> uh, the Poetic Expressions has the iridescent, or the um, champagne iridescent dots that you can stick down yourself. So you get a lot of them. Um, Be Mine has those cute hearts. These hearts actually and flowers are a great match for this um, most adored paper too. And then we have um, the Forever Love paper here with its matching pretty peacock and petal pink gems. 
And petal pink is like my color of the season. I did not realize how much I was going to use that for this mini. So I'm excited to have, um, have those two. So you'll get again, half a package. If you do the add on for that and signups close for this on Friday. So don't miss out. Um, it's a great way to get papers. And then of course, if you add the embellishments, you get another 30 papers from all of the celebrations and the card bases to match them. So you will use the paper that you order, <laughs> which I know is the biggest feat, right? Everybody's like, I have so much designer series paper. Um, the Low and Stamps uh, DSP share is a great way to get your paper and to use it too. That's like have your paper and it's like cake, right? Have your cake and eat it too. I'm pretty sure that that's, this is the, the designer series paper version of that. So hope you guys are excited about this um, bundle, the hybrid embossing folder, links in the video description or comments, I guess, also um, for supplies. And this one is going to be so much fun to use. I'm just kind of over the moon about it. So um, of our four projects for the Love and Stamps tutorials for January, we have this card. We are going to have a home decor art piece, which will be a fun frame. Uh, we are going to have a treat, which is the kind of thing you can just tuck in your purse and hand out to anybody that you see. Um, the Starbucks clerk, um, person at the drive through window, the bank teller, um, the, you know, bus driver, if your kid or your grandkid or your neighbor, whoever gets off the bus, um, just a little treat to share, uh, with a friend or you know, someone you meet, uh, this time of year. And then, um, the fourth project is uh, going to be a fun fold card. So we'll, you guys will love all of them, I'm, I'm sure. And so I'll do the videos for those as part of Maker Mornings with Meg. So you'll be able to watch them here, whether you're watching on Facebook or YouTube. And you will also be able to um, see those PDF tutorials if you place an order in my online store during January. So those um, PDF tutorials are my thank you for shopping with me, which I appreciate. And any size order will get you those tutorials. Uh, you also, um, if your order is at least $50, will get two card kits in the mail. And the card kits um, will be probably for um, the treat and for our, well, I don't, I don't know. I haven't decided which one they're going to be for. I'm not going to limit myself yet. So it'll be a surprise or I'll let you know when we do the video. And then um, you will also have access to those tutorials if you are a Lovin Staples demonstrator. So if you uh, are interested in joining um, the, our Stampin' Up! Demonstrator family, this is a really great time to do it. Um, the Glass Mat Studio that I've been using is your extra bonus gift with your starter kit, which comes at a discount. And the Glass Mat Studio is a free bonus. Or if you're like, oh, I already have a Glass Mat, I don't need another, um, that's also cool. And you can choose an extra $30 with your starter kit instead. So the details of that are all on my website at Loven Stamps, and uh, you can learn more about those and also click the join now button to join me. But let me know if you have any questions. I love helping people get started. And there are uh, lots and lots of people who are demonstrators who sign up because they want to shop for themselves at a discount. And that is perfectly okay. So my job is to help you get what you want out of being a demonstrator. And if that is to shop at a discount, then I can help you with that too. Um, if you are interested in doing more or having occasional friend over to stamp or, you know, earning a trip, um, which less than 1% of demonstrators do, but people do, uh, I'm happy to help you with that too. So, all right, guys, I think that that covers us for today. And, oh, you know what I do? I have some mailbag um, cards to share. So let me sh pull those out. I'm going to switch our camera back. Um, these cards are super cute. This one came from my friend Jesse, and I love this. Um, I think this was one of the was this one of the card kits, maybe. Um, anyway, a really sweet card, and I love that um, pre-made card. So watch for these in the kits and in Paper Pumpkin and in um, the. Oh, where else do you find these? In the Memories and More card kits. So lots of good choices there. Um, this is a beautiful card stitched by my friend Kathy. She does these amazing um, stitchery cards, and I love them. So with variegated thread, just so pretty, and I totally appreciate the sewing. Um, and then I have a card from Tammy, and this is Tammy's cute card um, with this little fluffiest friends guy. He is from um, the online exclusives. So if you are like, I, I do not see that cute Pooh Bear E guy in any of the catalogs, that's because he's in the online exclusive. So you want to just flip over to my online store to look for that and the dies that match them. And then I have one last Christmas card um, from um, 
Patricia, and this one is very pretty here too. Um, she used like a foiled card background, and these cards actually, oh, here, I'll show you the back too. Isn't that cute? She did a little extra there. So these, I think, were printed foiled cards, um, and then some pretty designer series paper that really makes the makes the card, right? And then all you have to do is add a little layered greeting and you're in good shape. So cute little gems too. All right, everybody, we'll have a, um, have a great, uh, have a great um, rest of your day. Uh, today's Tuesday, so we still have another video this week. Oh my goodness. Um, and then I will be excited to share that with you. And, and I'll show it to you Thursday, Thursday morning for our next Maker Morning with Meg. And that will be right before I head to Colorado for my son to head to an audition for some music things that he's doing. So anyway, um, Thursday morning video, Thursday afternoon, driving to Colorado. So <laughs> hope, for, hope for good weather um, on Thursday between Illinois and Colorado. We'll see what happens. So Everybody have a great day and I'll see you on Thursday. Happy stamping.